Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. It's 2 0 IQJ. Lovely weather out here, so I decided to give this antenna a try. Yes, I've got my new antenna, it's a QRP shortwave antenna. I got it from Amazon around about £24-£25. And as usual, when you get these QRP antennas, they don't come with any instructions. So let's take a closer look and see what it's like on receive. So this is the antenna in question. Here we've got our telescopic whip. Plastic tube there to carry the telescopic whip so it doesn't get damaged in your bag. And the antenna part here is, is on the bottom here, you've got an SO239 or PL249 connection there. It does come with a right angled adapter. Two dials here, that one's a clicky dial. And that's non non clicky dial. For what I can make out, because it didn't come with any instructions, this makes the signal louder and this makes the SWR come down. I had it uh, around on two meters, around about 1.5, and I had it on 20 meters, about 3.8. So I will be playing around with this some more. I did plug it into my uh, Rig Expert antenna analyzer. The top here is where we screw on the telescopic whip and the instructions on Amazon, like the listing, said add 20 meters worth of wire there will greatly improve the receive. So I should be adding 20 meters of wire there to get the SWR to come down. Now it's made by this company here, ZFGL. Now if you haven't seen it, I've done a video on the ZFGL loop that I got from eBay. That's not bad for what it is, just play around with loop in the garden. And it says power watt, power rating 20 watts, SWR is less than 1.5, 170 grams, and it'll do 3.5 to 30 megs, so 20 meters and stuff. It'll do 6 meters, so 50 to 54, 76 to 108, and it'll do 136 to 174, and 400 to 470. So we're going to add our cannibal's wire, because I've got wire coming, we'll do that in a future video. I will do some uh, speaker wire, 20 meters worth of speaker wire. So I can split it down the middle, make a 20 metre counterpoise, and then with the other 20 metres of wire that's split in the middle, I'm going to make myself a dipole for 20 metres and go out portable and see if I can make any contacts with two bits of wire between a tree, that'd be cool. So let's plug this into the radio and see if we can hear any stations. OK, we've got it connected to the ICOM IC705 in the wind camp antenna socket, and the whip is connected to the top. Show you how long the whip is. So we go, let's tune the antenna in and see if we can hear anyone across the 20 metre band. OK, we're currently sitting there just below 20 metres. Let's give some volume and we're tuning into a frequency of 14074. And then we'll adjust these two here to get the loudest signal. And then we'll see if we can hear anyone across the band. So let's do 14074. I'm already hearing people noises on there. Right, let's give some volume. Well, it's receiving okay. Seems like it's louder. Oh, that's a noise warning. So we go, we're getting a nice signal there, if I zoom in on the screen, from FT8. Let's zoom in. See there? Let's see if we can hear one across the band. There's someone there, lovely. That was a SSTV. Okay, we are hearing a few stations across the band. I am filming this in the evening about five or five o'clock or so, so the band's probably going to go die down a bit now. But let's see what the SWR is like. We can set the SWR in this radio. So I press the menu button and go to SWR. And then if I go down, let's go down and say there. Just check there's no one else there. And we'll check the SWR. So 
See, way too high. Now it's telling us on the instructions on the back of the antenna, SWR is 1.5 or below. So we'll add the counterpoise wire, which will go obviously on the, on the antenna there, as and when the wire comes, and I'll do that in future videos so we can get the SWR to come down. But for just receiving so far, it seems to be okay. So there we go, the ZFGL antenna for HF, UHF and VHF. We tested it on 20 metres and we was able to receive some stations. Yes, yes, WR was a bit too high, but if I add a counterpoise wire, hopefully that'll bring it down, finally make some contacts across the band. The idea is I can take this antenna to work with my ICOM 705, place on top of the radio, throw the counterpoise wire out and adjust it so we can hopefully make some contacts across the band, play some radio lunch break. Can't be bad now the weather's getting warmer. Anyhow, if you've got one of these antennas, how do you find them? A lot of old rubbish, or do you find they actually work for you? I've seen some videos on YouTube where they've been down by the coast, they've used these antennas with a counterpoise wire, and they're making contacts all over. Anyhow, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. Seven threes for now.